Hello and welcome to another Revenant Note video. This is going to be my Outbreak edition, uh, looking at the Outbreak event that will last for a, a little while now. Uh, it's got about 12 days left at the time of this recording. This came out two days ago, or actually one day ago on Thursday. This day's almost over, so it's about a two-week event, and I'm hoping, really hoping, that they keep this method, or this mode, in the game, because it's probably the best Zombies mode that I have ever played. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in solo mode here, but I just want to take a look at my weapons. Because I, I tend to take weapons that I don't normally use in the regular PvP mode because zombies are a lot easier to level things up, especially with your shotguns, and they are extremely powerful. So I'm going to be taking in my shotgun with the Agency Choke, the Task Force Barrel, which adds a little bit of damage. I'm going to be taking in Hip Fire Accuracy because we are going to be hip firing this quite a lot. There is a couple of tasks to do that. I am going to be using the 8 round tube. Uh, that'll give me 20 rounds uh, when we go and pack a punch for the first time. And I'm going to be using the jungle grips. And of course I have my zebra stripes there. I do have quite a lot of other camos out. But I just happen to really like... Ooh. Blue zebra? Gold zebra. Let's go with the gold zebra this time around. Alright. So let's get into a game. And we'll give you uh, a little bit of tutorials on what you need to look for within the game. Looks like we'll be starting on Ruka. And I'm going to select my CQB. Be advised, strike team is on the ground in the OZ. Weaver, my team has prepped the rover for dimensional transfer. Strike team on route for rover escort. So this is going to be doing an escort mission. The first thing though, before you even get started on that escort mission, I suggest you go around and kill just about everything you can possibly kill. Take a look at your map up in the top left corner and see all the red dots. Go towards them and kill them. Now, in the first level, if you see the one up in the top right corner there, that means that we're level one for the zombies, which means don't I waste you. your ammo. Go ahead, feel free to smack them upside the head with the butt of your gun, or even just hit them. Pretty much do this until you get up to about 3,500 points, or sorry, no, 5,000 points. It's 5,000 points to Sucker Punch for the first time, get an extra $2,000 to uh, upgrade your ammo to have a special ability. So you're going to want about 7,000 points. So let's just go around killing some things. Help is needed. Now, don't be afraid. Definitely don't be afraid to use your weapon in case of need. Like, it is better to smack them upside the head with the butt. But if you absolutely have to, use use your weapon. Don't don't uh, don't play their lives just like I did. I no longer have my revive, so one more death and I am dead. Now the cool thing is we are already at the location of the pack a punch. Pick up a little bit of jar of essence. Always look for the jars. Hear that chiming sound? Not the beeping, but the chime sound. Chime sound is this. The beeping and the laughing, which you would normally run from in real life, you actually need to go towards. Now I don't know if the smiley face means anything. I usually wait till it's green before I hit it. Pick up some armor. Pick up some stem shots. Pick up some C4, and pick up some ammo. So, that's a pack a punch, but we do not have enough. We only have 2,400. We need double that at least just to get the pack a punch itself, not the ammo. If you hear this warbling noise, it means you're near the crystals. Break them. They sometimes give you little essence packs, which of course will increase your 
uh, uh, cash down at the bottom to go and get upgrades. Now, early in the game, you will come across a uh, uh, mystery box is one each level. It does cost 950. I'm going to risk it because I want to have a secondary weapon. Hopefully, it'll be a good one. Okay, that's not too bad. This little SMG is mine now. When you do pack a punch, make sure you pack a punch the weapon that does the most damage. In this case, it is going to be my shotgun. Um, I have done it where I've accidentally pack a punch the wrong weapon, and it wastes a lot of resources. Now, at this time, ammo is abundant, so if you do want to use your gun as opposed to uh, the buddier gun, you can do so without issue. Let's wait for the green. Oh, I just missed the green. I'm not sure if that actually means anything. Oh. Oh. Weapon claim is mine. And I might pack a punch that one as well later on. You should be able to pack a punch two weapons in your first round. Uh, you should be able to get close to uh, ten grand, if not a little bit more, in essence. Uh, again, you're going to spend your first long time looking around the map. Uh, so you'll be able to find a lot of essence, a lot of uh, crystals, and a lot of vials, and a lot of uh, chests to pick up. So, just explore. That was a baddie, by the way. Big guy. So, one of the things you're going to want to look for, we are right in the center of the map here. This thing up top. This wonderful ooze of goo here. Hit this a few times, it'll give you a whole lot of essence. You're going to want to follow it. To its next spot. Follow this trail. You'll see it. Do not kill anything in your way? Don't do it too long though, because I've lost the trail. I believe it comes down here, yep. You'll see in the top right, up top, uh, very, very top middle of my map, there's that little circle. That is that particular device. We're right back here at the pack much, which is perfect. I'm going to want to follow the third time, though, so I get that extra pack of punch. Might be able to upgrade both weapons at this point. Keep my weapon. I'll keep my weapon the way it is. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna clear out this area here. Wow, 
Watch out for the dogs. So long as it functions, I am happy. Yeah, the reason why I'm seems picking... to be in good condition. This one here. Yet up. another for the collection. Uh, I'm really debating it now. Ready for almost anything. Because I am gonna pack a punch it. That already does tier three damage. Let's go. But I don't to think work. I'll get my twenty. But it does more damage, so I'm gonna take it. So here we are at the pack a punch. We're going to upgrade our shotgun. We're going to upgrade the ammo to the shotgun to be explosive. Then we're going to switch weapons and we're going to pack a punch it as well. So now both your weapons should be pack a punch one. As you see, I only have 12 shots. Uh, if I kept my other shotgun, I would have had 20 shots. But because this is already a tier 3 and there was only a tier 2, this one will do more damage either way. As you can see, reloading is a lot quicker, firing is a lot quicker, everything is a lot quicker. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the missions you want to do quickly first. So we're going to go and do some feeding time, which is right behind us. We're going to take a car there because it's just so long to walk. Okay, so over here is that feeding tower. Go ahead and activate it. Oh, I need 500, so I need to kill a few more of these guys. It's not a problem. You should fear me. All right, now we can activate this. You see his purple circle? You want to kill them in this circle. That way, the tower feeds. You get 25 points per kill. You got what you deserve. Although it cost us 500, so we got 1735 back. Or 1700 back, a bunch. Which I'd say is not that bad, huh? Let's see what damage this does now. No points. Okay. On that as well, on this direction, gives these cells. Gives you as well. I use my so called fish. 
Okay, we are coming up on the skulls. Another bunch of specials, bunch of wolves. So I can pick them off remotely. Easily taken down no with a pack of punch guns. Good hunting. Requiem, thank you for your support. Now again, without the Pack-a-Punch, it probably wouldn't have been that easy to take him down. Actually, I know it definitely wasn't. It would have been easy to take him down. Okay, take a look at the map. Don't see any other special missions, so let's go to the Escort. So now that we have two pack a punch, we have a lot of points right now. We're going to start our escort, which will lead us into going to the next level. These recon rovers are critical to our research. We rely on the data it transmits to our dimension. Stay with the rover as it scans for a stable dimensional entry point. Searching for dimension. Alright, so now we just gotta find the beacon and we can go to the next level. We already have almost 10,000 points to go into the next level, so we only need about another 5 or so to do another pack a punch on one of our weapons. Then once you get to the anomaly, and you open it up, you'll see the armory show up, you will see the 
workbench show up, you'll see the pack-a-punch, and you'll see the miscellaneous items um, where you can purchase some of your perks. These cost 3500 a pop. I think they cost 3000 for the first one. I already bought one. Uh, I have that one that I got automatically from one of the bad guys. That would be a good thing to have. I don't know if it respawns on the next one. We'll take a look and see. Just want to quickly check out the armor here and see if I can... Upgrade this. And I can. Make it tier 3. Okay. And that's pretty much it, folks. Basically click on the warp to get the next level. Rinse and repeat. So, once you get into the game, kill everybody you can. Get enough points to pack a punch. Go do some of your special other uh, quests. Uh, the skulls, uh, there's a few bad guys. Go after them, get some more points. And then once you feel comfortable with the power of your weapons, you pack and punch them all up to where you want them to be. Then go after the final quest. That's it. That's the way to play this game. It's fairly easy, fairly fun. I got up to about level 3 where I died. Um, but I managed to unlock a whole I've lot. I've located a dimensional power node ahead. It's starting the ether terraforming process in this region. A My team's on it, Carver. Consider it done. Are you done? Okay. A whole lot of levels for the uh, battle pass, uh, as well as leveling up about two or three times. So that's it. Have fun and enjoy. And then once you're done, if you want to leave, just hit on the helicopter to call Exfil. You have another Request mission to the do. immediate Exfil. We'll have to get to the Exfil site and clear it out before it can do anything. Requiem actual to Raptor One. Strike team ready for extraction. make it in time, that happens. Which is okay, you'll see that I had a really good high score. Match bonus is 1370. 
but it's all for naught. Don't, don't worry, it's not all for naught. I just leveled up a few times there. Here we go. Two. Three tiers so far. So, it finished off this one tier and gave me two more. So about three tiers worth of unlocks just for playing three rounds of zombies. Not to mention the amount of unlocks that you can get from it. And it just keeps going and going and going. That's it for now. That's all you gotta do. So, thank you very much for joining me on this wonderful journey into Outbreak. Um, it's fairly simple, very easy going. I love it. I really hope they continue on with this and it's not just a two week event. So, till next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next.